How do things become legend? Is it fabricated or is there a hint of truth? Well, oftentimes it's a little bit of both. Add some time, word of mouth, a dash of today's internet and social media, and things become legend. For example, bodies of water can have legendary status, some good, some bad. Take Lake Superior, for example, thanks to the song, the first thing that may pop into people's heads is the sinking of the Edmund Fitzgerald. How about Florida's Lake Okeechobee? For many people, it's known as the launch pad for professional bass fishing. Or how about Lake St. Clair? It's become synonymous with incredible, call it legendary musky fishing. Some bodies of water are known to be legendary for a specific species, while others have the carrying capacity for large numbers of different varieties of fish. And some rare waters are legendary for both. Today on The Edge, we head north of the U.S. border into Ontario's sunset country to explore legendary waters that have it all. Jeremy Smith and St. Croix Rod's Rich Belanger operate out of Moosehorn Lodge, chasing epic walleye, pike, and muskie on one of the most productive lakes on the entire continent. What they find, especially when it comes to muskie fishing, verifies what many people already know, that it's pretty hard to beat a full week of fishing on the legendary Lac Sewell. Unbelievable, what a great way to end a spectacular stay at Moosehorn Lodge. <laughs> Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. Hey, every year we put on a ton of miles traveling the country, chasing fish, not only hauling all of our fishing gear, but also production equipment. So that's why we're stopping by Radco to accessorize this work truck so we can be organized and prepared wherever the road takes us. On the truck bed, we've installed the cargo glide, which is awesome for accessing gear in the back. To maximize space in this truck, we've added a Lear topper with Lear locker. This keeps our gear out of the elements and provides additional overhead storage for smaller items that always seem to clutter up the back. And on top, we've got the Thule roof rack. Of course, being in the woods, on the water, and eating food on the road the cab tends to get messy. We protect the floor with WeatherTech mats and the seats with Tiger Tough seat covers. To expand the storage space in the cab for items like toe straps, extra oil, jumper cables, etc., we've installed the Duha and this thing is pretty slick. Lastly, we've got the Rockstar Rock Guard on the back to protect the boat going down those gravel roads to secret spots. Whether you rig your ride all at once or little by little, these truck accessories are not only incredibly useful, but they also look pretty darn sharp. And remember, when your truck looks good, you look good. Got him, got him. Right, there we go. Cool. As soon as it hit the water, Rich. I haven't seen the fish yet. Right on, right on. It's a little musky, but hey, this is what we're looking for. This segment has been brought to you by Donlinger Automotive, and they want to encourage you to drive safe on the road and on the water. Hey, you just got to visit Sunset Country. Bubba has designed a fillet knife for both fresh and saltwater anglers. With our trusted non-slip grip, the Bubba fillet knives provide the precision, control, and flex to fillet any size fish. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, 
Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether you're getting them through the winter season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. best performing electric fillet knife for both fresh and saltwater anglers. With our trusted non-slip grip, the Bubba Electric Fillet Knife provides the precision, control, and flex to fillet any size fish. This segment is brought to you by Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. And they all kind of have their own unique deal. And what's fun about this right now the weeds are still good. It's kind of that midsummer, midsummer peak type deal. Whoa. I'm just gonna try and just grab this guy if I can here. Midsummer peak deal, and the fish are in the weeds, and man oh man, it's pretty hard to beat a bucktail. There we go. How do you like that, huh? First fish, first morning out here at Moosehorn Lodge, our second spot. And we are on the board. Who doesn't love that? A beautiful, beautiful muskie. And Rich and I got a ton of exploring to do. It's gonna be muskies, it's gonna be walleyes, and it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get this guy back. All right, oh, Mr. Muskie. You are a beautiful sight. A beautiful sight, not the Laxul giant, but hey, I am stoked to be on the second spot of the trip and on the board. See you, dude. We are visiting Sunset Country once again. And this time we're staying at Moosehorn Lodge near Lac Sewell. This is a beautiful facility and caters to whatever species you want to chase. Linda and Carter Rice are the proud owners of this place and our host for the next four days. This is going to be fun. So we bought Moosehorn Lodge in 2003. We have uh, did a lot of renovations in the place. We've paved all the roads and uh, put all new docks in, whole new septic system, all new roofs. We've got our uh, buildings all air conditioned with uh, satellite TV and Wi-Fi. And we offer both the American plan package or the housekeeping package. All the uh, cabins have full-size fridge, stove, barbecues and for your American plan we have a certified chef so if you're looking for a good experience make sure that you call early. There you go. Is it a musk or it's a nice pike? Isn't it it's a big a pike? Is it a big pike or? Well not bad but I mean not. I'm gonna spot lock us here. There you go. That's the nice thing about coming up to uh, Lac Sewell. If the muskies don't cooperate, they're hard to find during the day, you can always tag out on some big pike. Just a bonus up here. Great fish, Rich. Oh, there, look at that huge one. Huge one. Got him. Got him. There we go. Nice, boys. That was awesome. I thought that thing was much larger than it was, but it was cool strike. Holy cow, it's a giant jack, Rich. Oh, there we go. Look at that one, Rich. Wow. Clearly one of the great bonuses of coming to Sunset Country. Big, big pike. Every trip I come up here, you end up landing into one of these big giant gators. Isn't that a great fish? At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. Introducing the all new V8 Mercury Pro XS. 
light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. True to Lund's tradition of quality, craftsmanship, and innovation, Lund is reintroducing the 1650 Rebel XL at a special price. With the rugged stability of Lund's double-plated IPS hull and features like an aerated live well, rod lockers, Lund's sport track mounting system, and even includes a travel cover, the Lund 1650 Rebel XL, exceptional quality at an incredible price. To find your nearest dealer or to get a free catalog, visit LundBoats.com. What lies beneath can no longer hide. New Mega Imaging Plus uses high-frequency sonar to show you fish and structure up to 200 feet below your boat and 200 feet out to either side. No more secrets, no more guesswork, just a clearer picture of the world below, down to a fish's species and direction. Because more detail means more of this. Only from Humminbird. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. Hey, if you spend any time fishing muskies or big pike in sunset country, one of the places you're gonna fish for sure is weed beds. And a lot of times these weed beds can get so thick that it's hard to work a bait through it if you're throwing up a, a bucktail or, or a lot of different baits. But believe it or not, one of the best lure choices to fish this heavy cover is something like this. This happens to be a Suic. Another one of my favorite choices is the Rapala Super Shad. What these two baits have in common is they're both very buoyant, meaning that they, when you pull the bait down, they rise up quickly, and what they do is they back out of cover. So to access these fish that are buried in weeds like that, I'll show you the little trick to be able to sneak in and get after the fish. So you make your cast, into the cover, look for little pockets, but you'll pull back the bait up, pull, give it slack, and what it's doing is it's diving down when it makes contact with cover, it just backs right up. And a hook that's got, or a bait that's got treble hooks on it, can believe it or not, walk through some of the thickest cover that there is in this part of the country. And the great thing about it is when you get bit, these fish explode out of nowhere and it's some of the coolest bites you'll get in musky fishing. So next time you make a trip to my favorite place in the world to fish, Sunset Country, be sure to pack some baits that are really buoyant and go after those big fish in the weeds. It's a blast. It wasn't that long ago a musky fisherman had maybe two rods, some primitive electronics, and possibly a styrofoam cooler full of lures. Now, don't get me wrong, this worked, and anglers caught a lot of fish in this manner. But just like many other types of fishing, the muskie game has taken a quantum leap over the last few years. Today, muskie fishing has become far more sophisticated, and uh, the equipment that we use is a lot like bass fishing. So rods, reels, line, lures are all really specifically designed for specific applications. And so what St. Croix's done with a lot of their lines uh, of rods now in the, in the musky world. We've got rods that are designed to throw big plastics, rods that are perfect for bucktails, rods that are great like the Downsizer series for throwing little jerk baits or smaller spinners, that type of a deal. So today when we hit the water, it's not Rich and I going out here with one rod, one reel to throw all the lures we have in the boat. We actually are carrying like a half a dozen rods a piece just so that we have the right rod real line leader for each specific application and that makes the baits perform better and ultimately you catch more fish when you've got everything matched up just right. Muskie fishing isn't just throwing big baits on any piece of equipment it's just like bass or walleye fishing it's very technical and if you get the right rod real line leader the baits perform much better and you catch more fish. If someone asks me so yeah great you've got six different rods and reels out on the out on the deck uh, I'm just getting into musky fishing. I'm not going to go buy six combos. Well, what should I get? Well, for me, and now everybody has their own personal preference, I really like 
the nine foot medium heavy power fast action. And the reason I like this rod is one, the length, so I can throw baits a long distance. I like the length for fighting and I really like it for the for figure eighting or boat side maneuvers. But also I like that medium heavy power for throwing a lot lighter bait. So personally, I prefer to throw smaller stuff when I can. And with that medium heavy and that fast action, I'm able to throw those small number eights really well. I'm able to throw smaller jerk baits, smaller twitch baits, smaller crank baits. This rod will also work pretty well as a trolling rod. So if I'm looking at buying just one rod and reel, I'm gonna favor the medium heavy versus the heavy or the extra heavy because I feel that it gives you a little bit more versatility in the different lures that you can throw. Now, granted, this isn't a great rod for throwing one pound baits, but at the same time, it's a much better rod for throwing small bucktails than an extra heavy rod would be. So for me, it's a medium heavy power, fast action, nine foot rod. Timing is a big part of any fishing situation, but extremely evident when you're musky fishing. The sky has opened up and the muskies have shut off. So we are taking advantage nice. of the ever-present fantastic walleye fishing. Yeah. Yeah, and the nice thing about it's fishing it's up here is you don't need live bait. We bring a good assortment of Rapala jig and wraps, some VMC bucktail jigs, moon eye jigs, and minnow profile plastics like the Big Bite Jerk Minnow or Suicide Shad, and we are covered from top to bottom. And if you're hungry and need a shore lunch, catching walleyes is like drive through run. fast food. We kind of got the midday musky blues. As you can see, the conditions are not what you would call ideal musky weather. And Lac Sewell happens to be maybe one of the most famous places in Canada to go catch tons and tons and tons of walleye. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Help your marine engine run smoother and last longer with Marine Pro from the makers of Seafoam Motor Treatment. Marine Pro is specially formulated for all types of gasoline marine engines. Marine Pro works to clean fuel passageways, cleans and lubricates critical upper engine areas, protects from the harmful effects of bad fuel and corrosion, and stabilizes fuel up to two years. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Marine Pro is available now at Fleet Farm. You can't choose the weather, but you can choose to dress for it. Introducing Blackfish Performance Rain Gear. Utilizing patented Event technology, this advanced membrane allows body heat and vapors to escape while offering 100% waterproof protection. With an exceptional combination of waterproof and breathability ratings, Blackfish Rain Gear keeps you dry all day. Whether on the tournament trail or chasing weekend walleyes, choose Blackfish because you can't choose the weather. You want more Angling Edge? Well, our Facebook, YouTube, and website are constantly being updated. It's like overtime of your favorite show. Check out the store with the brand new apparel. And purchase five DVDs at the incredibly low price of $25. That's five DVDs for just 25 bucks. Place an order at anglingedge.com. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. We're gonna give walleyes a little rip. We got some artificials and I think Rich and I will have a little fun getting some action and wait for conditions to become a little more favorable and go catch some more muskies. There we go, we're starting to get into fish. They're pretty tight to bottom. You can see there's fish, there's fish. I'm seeing a few more on down ridging. Look at this. That's one thing about when you come up here, a, fish finder is really, really important to have. So this is 2D sonar, this is down imaging, and you can see this is these are walleyes. So I never fish any of these humps, especially the deep stuff, because you can see so well what's down there. I can see there's fish here, so we'll definitely fish this particular spot. But anytime you see a little rise on your depth finder that's in that 20 to 30 feet, you want to look at it, because there will be walleyes on 
most of the stuff like that up here. And then in terms of navigation, uh, Lake Master released this year. This is the, uh, the Ontario map chip. So it's a really great tool for navigation. It's not uh, these huge giant Canadian lakes aren't done in uh, HD contours, but at the same time, most of your hazards are marks. You've still got the shallow and deep water highlight to fish a lot of different stuff. So a tool you never want to go fish the shield without is a good fish finder. Boat control nowadays is just so easy compared to what it what it used to be. I mean, back in the day, you'd be sitting on the on the mercury tiller trying to hold yourself in in one spot. And nowadays, you can just with the you know the the technology and these Minn Kota trolling motors. We're running the Altera. I don't have to get up to the bow to self deploy or to, to put it down. I just push a button on the depth finder. It's a one boat network. I can do everything from the from the hummingbird to the Minn Kota. And when I see a school of fish. You just drop down and bam, 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 bam. I don't have to worry about holding the boat in one place, just catch fish. Another key element to this style of fishing, when you're fishing 25, 30, 35 feet deep, I use that extra fast on a six foot eight. Oh yeah. That way I can keep it close to me, I've got control. But the nice thing is you've got that little bit softer tip, but then it shuts down right away into that backbone. And when you're fishing that deep, if you're using a longer, lighter rod, say medium light, you're gonna be missing some of those fish. Absolutely. The, the backbone on those MXFs will drive those hooks in deep water. Just like any great vacation, the hours shoot by faster than you can imagine. After a beautiful meal, some good rest, we are back at it, chasing the mighty muskie. And today, I think our luck is gonna change because we have the world famous Linda Rice from Moosehorn Lodge. So Linda invited us up to fish famous Lac Sewell. It's got some of the biggest muskies in all of Ontario, all of the world for that matter. And she in fact is the world record holder in the female division for a fish we were just talking about when we took that fish, estimated at 56 pounds. Giant fish, so we're on a body of water where anything is possible. And I think with uh, the conditions we've got today, Linda's gonna bring us some good luck and we're gonna get to see a Lac Sewell giant. Got him. Got him. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, that was a sweet strike, guys. That was awesome. Did you see that? It just blindsided me, man. Oh, yes. We have been waiting and we were like, the time is right. It's got to happen right now. And this fish came up out of a weed bed. Lac Sewell is loaded with weeds. And a classic way to catch, catch these fish is to work slow because their strike window is not huge and I was throwing a pause and jerk bait and he's wrapped up in the line oofta and we got ourselves a muskie Woo! second bite of the day and Linda is gonna do the honors for me all right hey muskie in the boat and I got to catch one with Linda Woo! yes <laughs> that's <laughs> so awesome. awesome see if I can get a hold of this bruiser here Linda Oh yeah, oh, whoa, check that out. What a great, great <laughs> fish. We've been definitely working for our opportunities up here, but there is so much awesome water to explore. It's beautiful, there's not a soul around. And to have an opportunity to catch fish like this, and there's fish that are like three times this size in here is a wonderful experience. Everybody has to try at some point in time. Thanks, Linda, what a great deal. You're welcome, and look at how clean it is. Oh. I don't think this one's been caught. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna set it in the net and we'll get a quick photo. See ya. Got him, oh, nice one, Linda, a... there you go. Awesome, oh, it's a huge one, it's a huge one, yes. Well, I'll get the net, I got it. Oh it's a monster, it's a monster, holy cow. This thing just crushed it, whoa. Unbelievable. Oh yeah. Wow. It's a big one, it's a big one. Oh, that away, Linda. Come on, oh, that's a big one. Holy smokes, I don't have a good angle. 
in the bag, a giant, a Laxal giant, unbelievable! Oh, oh this thing is monstrous. You are not gonna believe the size of this fish. Pretty good. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Linda, look at the size of this beast. Unbelievable, what a great way to end a spectacular stay at Moosehorn Lodge. Hey, you wanna go out and catch walleyes and feel like the best fisherman in the world and have a shot at catching giants like this? Come visit Linda at Moosehorn Lodge on beautiful Lac Sewell in Northwest Ontario Sunset Country. I promise it'll be a trip you'll remember forever. Woo! <laughs> Good deal. Oh, an awesome place. You know, D D Dan is my nephew, and uh, uh, obviously he's considerably younger than I am. And he hangs around with a lot of a, a, a generation that in some cases I don't understand, okay, <laughs> to, yeah, to totally. say the least. Yeah. He sends me all kind of stuff to, to, to keep me on my toes of what's happening with the young generation. Some of it is good and some of it isn't so good. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I was thinking about when we were talking about some of this stuff. When I was growing up, I used to listen to a lot of heavy metal music, you know, and, and a lot of it, it didn't phase me back then. I didn't think about it that much. And recently I got a, a free uh, month-long deal to XM Radio, and I hadn't been listening to heavy metal for years, you know, and I put some on and I'm like, oh, could just, without sounding too woo-woo, like my spirit man, just felt heavy you know what i mean there's something about it that just didn't agree with me and um you know i started thinking about that and everybody's heard the old saying you know i am garbage in garbage <laughs> are you are what you eat yeah. you know what i mean anybody that's been on a diet has done that and from me being a filmer and editor uh if you take a bad picture it's hard to make it look good that's what garbage in garbage, garbage out, out means you know and uh, i started thinking about that and i just am having a hard time nowadays like even watching the news because it's like everything is just so negative and it's like man well i just want something uplifting you know what i mean and you can i can feel it my spirit man mm -hmm. can feel that negativity and so i just wanted people to be aware of that you know you are what you eat physically and mentally if you suck a lot of that negative energy up it, it has to come out somewhere and it comes out you know in a lot of you know dark emotions and and hostility yeah nothing good comes out of th no. th thinking no. that way how true it is the bible is real clear on, on helping you think and it, and it, i'll go to philippians 8 on this and it's real clear to the point finally brethren whatever things are true whatever things are noble whatever things are just whatever things are pure whatever things are lovely whatever things are of a good report if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy meditate on these things right. that's pretty darn clear yeah <laughs> <laughs> garbage in garbage out and good stuff in good stuff out Hey, from all of us at the edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Thanks again for joining us, Dano. Yep. Hey, I want to take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the Almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.